patiently there are territorial spirits that operate in our regions and their assignment is to make people look like the city have you seen people like that they go to school they do everything but the same way the zincs are old the same way the buildings are old you go back to that city after 15 years you see what you saw as a baby it's still waiting for you there no growth and the city the spirits in those regions turn you to become like that let me tell you a testimony many years ago i was in this city and i took a cab and we got talking with the man true story the man was driving me and i engaged him in a conversation and he began to talk and he he said something that i thought was very interesting he said oga that there is a spirit in this city that makes money not stay in the hands of people so that he went somewhere or so and someone gave him an advice that every time he receives money he should run out of abuja and that now he has built a house it was not what he was saying i was saying ah so there is a spirit that can make you keep earning five hundred thousand every month and at the end of the year your life looks like yesterday it's a spirit a true church must preach christ and the whole person of god including his desire to empower men including his desire to lift men including his desire to bring acceleration the only thing we need to do is to reprioritize our focus so that in the midst of it jesus is exalted above all but to ignore these things in an attempt to say jesus is above all is a costly mistake that we'll spend our lifetime paying for But this night the lifter wants to speak the lifter wants to lift men and when god talks of lifting there are forces that make for lifting one of them is humility the other is favor favor can lift esther chapter 2 and verse 15 then verse 17 and esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her verse 17 the lifting power of favor and the king loved esther above all the women and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins so that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of vashti are you ready to pray I made up my mind that I'm not the one who will stop any good thing God wants to do in my life. Lord, if you want to bless me, religion will not stop me from receiving it. If you choose to honor me, glory be to your name. My only vow is that in it you will be glorified and you will be seen. But to reject it because of foolishness and ignorance, I will not be part of that. Everything that comes from God is good, it is perfect. If it kills you, it mingled with flesh. It's not because it came from God. If money destroys you, it's not that money is bad. It's that your own renewed mind and your lack of surrender mixed with that money. And it became something else that God did not give. There is nothing in itself that kills. The state of your heart is what makes any good thing kill. Prosperity does not destroy. Many people preach against prosperity, for instance, and yet they are looking for money. Yet they have needs. Yet they have children. We are not talking about self-aggrandizement. No. There are more important kingdom things. What of the lifting? Imagine that God lifts you now and you become captain over a parastatal. Imagine how many people will be blessed because of it you see the moment you are selfish you will never see a need to do more and be more but when you become selfless you will know that god you have blessed me but is this all i can be he's anointed me and i'm grateful to him but i continue to tell him lord if ever you are looking for someone to carry a greater level of grace for the nations you have helped me but i still am available I'm not available so that people will come and say Joshua Selma no no if 10 people are sick and seven are healed what if your relative is part of the three that are not healed imagine returning from a service I heard you came for koinonia what happened I'm sorry we celebrated miracles 
but i was not there because of those three we will celebrate and then return back and say lord there is still more there is still more hear me perhaps last miracle service you came and you celebrated what god was doing in the lives of people healings and miracles and you went back and it didn't seem like anything happened now it's another opportunity but you must be very very discerning you must be very very discerning are we together now discern make up your mind that i will not be careless no i will be discerning you can be in the presence of god and it will be like genesis 28 the lord was in this place and i knew not this is holding my, my trouser again praise the lord are we together when it is time to pray you must pray from the depth of your heart lord i desire more power more grace you have called me into the ministry of kingdom wealth i make up my mind thank god for what you have given me but i've not yet been able to give a billion naira for the gospel i'm not there thank god you have made me a politician i thank you for my political career but i'm unable to serve to the degree that brings you glory in this position exalt me more so your desire is now sincere and god says for me let's go and while he's saying let's go many people are saying be careful if you rise we keep telling people be careful and the devil keeps lifting people who when they go there they force us to serve god wants to exalt people god wants to if you are not interested there are many others who are genuinely interested as for me and my house lord everything that you can give me that will bring you glory my hands are opened to receive it and it is for your glory you are in ministry refuse inferior levels of the anointing thank god for it but it will only lead you to a level of struggle one headache per year no you are in business thank god going up and down tomorrow balloon success you before you finish celebrating you are in trouble again you have to trust god for grace to be consistent to enter into a sabbath where you can become a blessing are we together yes i vowed a vow to god that i will never lead a people who are just spiritually sound i believe in influence influence is the ability to compel a territory to buy into your convictions based on the excellency of the results that come from your life influence is powerful we can make jesus lifted and known through influence there are two tools that bring for kingdom advance one is evangelism enthrones christ in the heart of men the second is influence it institutionalizes god consciousness across a territory nobody will follow people without results you've heard me say that people love you but they love themselves too if you are not producing results nobody is going to waste his time and i cried to god i said lord don't send me with only a sermon the world that that needs you needs more than a sermon we need to see a demonstration of the power the grace of god ladies and gentlemen i want you to know three things number one jesus is lord number two he trained us well number three sit back and watch the wonder working power of god tonight as he heals as he delivers oh we dare to say it with every sense of confidence as touching the grace that has been given to us please rise up on your feet you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life is changed you will never be the same you will never be the same You've touched his grace. Hallelujah. In one minute, let your expectations rise to heaven. Please go ahead. Jesus is here. Jesus is Lord. All over the nations, follow with hunger in your heart. Please lift your hands and pray. Everyone.
everyone lift your voice and you are lifters. Salabakata Brandega de Baladabada. This is me, oh Hallelujah. Genesis 21 from verse 1 and 2. The last prayer point and we'll pray. And the Lord visited Joshua Selman as he has said. And the Lord did unto Joshua Selman as he has spoken. The Bible says Sarah conceived. You don't have to be a woman to conceive this kind of conception there are visions there are things you can carry your mind is a womb too and bear abraham a son even in old age at the set time which the lord god has spoken father as you have spoken do to me as you have spoken do to me tonight Shake it for Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm seeing people laughing in the spirit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The power of God is going to come on those people. This is very strange. But I want you to carry them and bring them out. Like an outburst of holy laughter. There is a prophecy for them. Bring them out. This is a ministry of signs and wonders. There is nothing superstitious here. It is the mighty act of God in the midst of his people. Bring them. The Bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous please bring them an outburst of laughter is not something you can control hmm. god of heaven these people are not this is not just a, a some carnal manifestation god is establishing great victories in their lives hallelujah victoria i'm hearing the name victoria who is victoria i presume there may be many people with that name but i want to speak to you now hold on please don't don't run for yourself Where are you coming from? Huh? Mama, where are you coming from? I'm here in Abuja, but I come from Kaduna. From Kaduna? Yes. I want to pray for you. The power of God is coming on one of you here. Help them, please. Please don't come out carelessly. Don't come out carelessly. If you don't have any business coming out, please, there's order in the house of God. In as much as these are manifestations, don't worry. God is going to visit you. We are not wasting our time. I'm hearing the name Olu Shegun. Olu Shegun. This is a Yoruba name. Olu Shegun. You are wearing a short dress, a short-handed dress. Is there someone like that? Olu Shegun. Who is that? 
What's your name? Olusian. From where? From Kogi State. I want to pray for you. What do you do, sir? I manage with one of my friends. I want to pray. You heard what I was teaching about lifting. This is what is going to happen to you. My friend, believe God. Oh, God is the lifter of men. Hallelujah. Mama, please lay your hand on. I hope you are not embarrassed. Can I talk to you? I want to rebuke BP. High blood pressure. High blood pressure. I want to rebuke it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, huh, something is about to happen here. Now, please look at me. Everybody pay attention. Let me explain before it happens. You see, the apostolic and the prophetic call if and when administered within the boundary of scripture and with spiritual intelligence outside of superstition and rubbish and nonsense when it is administered within
the boundary of scripture can work wonders and you have to be flexible when you are in an apostolic and a prophetic atmosphere in as much as scripture remains the basis of all that we do the dynamics of its operation the bible says there are diversities of gifts are we together now there are diversities even of operation now i confess to you the world is watching and i want to say something before i pray there are certain gifts and manifestations that god has put upon my life that I was almost tempted to shelve them for a while until I studied through scripture or in the life of day that have gone ahead of us so that we would not bring error in the body but I searched, such such and I did not really find anyone I know operating this dimension of what what is about to happen and because of that I went to scripture and then I found out that there were things that were hidden that were not known in time past but that in these days god had revealed them who is apostles and prophets the lord would open my eyes and show me the map of a nation or the map of a city and i would see light would point a particular region and the moment i announce it all the people from that region the power of god begins to touch them this is a sign and a wonder when it started in my life i said what is the meaning of this are we together now and i'm saying that because this is what i'm seeing i'm now seeing that vision right now of a map and the light of god is touching kogi state this is what i'm seeing listen help them please you see what i'm saying kogi state kogi state bring them out kalatuski debra katushiata kebrantos kalibra katushiata kogi state God is bringing deliverance. There are foundations, there are altars that have tied the destinies of men down. In the name of Jesus, I come by the apostolic and the prophetic. Here at this miracle service, to this day, doesn't matter what local government, in the name of Jesus, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, we arrest everything. Please don't come out on your own. Palisa Breketushi Atakara in the name of Jesus hallelujah these things are manifestations of the spirit it is to profit the believers hear me except God is not God everything that followed you here this night to tie your destiny i declare by the power of the holy ghost help them please it must let you go now it must let you go now covenant it must let you go now yokes of ancestry it must let you go now in the name of jesus Christ. hallelujah now there is someone here in politics the power of god is coming on you i'm not i'm not a politician i don't play politics i'm a man of god but i love politicians i love great people i don't run away from them we are sent to minister to them but there is a politician right now i'm talking the power of god is coming on the person just hold the person i want to prophesy if that is a woman, just hold her. I want to. Quên đời thật vui khi ta có nhau trong đời. Một ngày cứ thế trôi qua và ta nhận lại bao nhiêu tiếng cười. Ơ ơ, mình chỉ nhớ đi quanh phố phường.
day Yeah, I'ma do shit my way So you can go kick rocks I'ma stack bricks up, build what I want to make Yo, I got a lot of shit to say So I'ma do this every day I'll be writing things until I'm fucking buried in my grave Six feet deep under, but my body won't decay Cause my messages are kind of so they put them on display Oh yeah, I rap with a certainty I have a sense of urgency A message for eternity for everyone internally I had some people burning me But now they fucking learn to see I ain't the one to fuck with Now they looking nervously And I don't really care what you think of me respectfully You can kick rocks if you think you're fucking better See, I will outwork you, turn you to an enemy Hurt you so bad that you're gonna need some therapy I got the motherfucking recipe I've been cooking up hits, I'ma leave a legacy You'll be looking small when you're standing right next to me I'm 5'10", bitch, but I'm 10 feet next to me I don't give a fuck what you say Yeah, I'ma do shit my way so you can go kick rocks, I'ma stack bricks up, build what I want to make Cause I don't give a fuck what you say, yeah I'ma do shit my way So you can go kick rocks, I'ma stack bricks up, build what I want to make Yeah I'ma do it my way Hãy subscribe cho kênh Ghiền Mì Gõ Để không bỏ lỡ những video hấp dẫn 